Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blackford Book Club for yet another edition of my Essential Film Reviews Collection and I bring you my favourite film from 2022 entitled Nope! Directed by Jordan Peele. As Jordan Peele's latest cinematic offering enters its final act there is a short scene that perfectly encapsulates the enigmatic and genre twisting madness that defines the absurdity and brilliance of his third directorial film. I loved Get Out in 2017 and I adored Us in 2019, far more than seems acceptable in polite public society. His directorial hat-trick here is defined with a simple exasperated nope, as with the alien foe now fully on display and not cloaked in mystical shadows or the clouds above, it seems perfectly in order to simply refuse to engage, lock the car doors and ride out the eye of the alien storm. Just don't look it directly in the eye. The exasperated man is O.J. Hayward, with Daniel Kaluuya reteaming with the director once more after their success with Get Out five years ago. Kaluuya's performance is all stillness and grief for a father and head of their independent family business who dies at a horrific and unexplainable death very early on in the film, but this is far from the first of such bloody and brutal horrors. Bloody tangent tracks are laid from the film's opening credits, and almost immediately the film vaults six months later to find an already laconic and enigmatic son grieving the death of the family patriarch, and a broken, disinterested, reserved, quiet and emotionally withdrawn man. He continues the family business of horse training with his sister Emerald Hayward, who in the guise of a devil may care, live wire and boundlessly enthusiastic performance from Kiki Palmer is your star of this wondrous show. Where her brother appears lost, Emerald seems found and in a world she's going to attack and enjoy. With financial offers to buy their family business, this is seemingly the only issue that will raise OJ's interest level from a disinterested resignation to a determination to continue the family business as he is very definitely his father's son. The other thing to distract him from his somewhat melancholic thoughts is that strange object in the sky or the unexplained light in the field. Is it the viewers? And if so, can they get the Oprah shot that will lead to fame and glory and perhaps a peaceful, settled mind for the father's son? Despite the heavy reliance above on not describing this film through the eyes of Daniel Kaluuya, Nope is in fact Kiki Palmer's film. Sassy, spirited, energetic and a real verve to fully map out another of the film's real human characters. The major supporting roles filled by Brandon Pereira, Michael Wincott and Stephen Yeun all follow in a similar vein, but I'll leave their character dissections absent save for reinforcing the central theme of humanity that runs through this film. Nope is many things, from the spiritual and religious through to a tirade on the heightened exploitation of spectacle, fear, death, grief and as the director has said in previously quoted interviews, a reaction to the soul-destroying lockdowns of recent times and a human need to be outside and be free. Nope is also a horror story a bloodily brutal and twisted horror story which is also a science fiction tale of UFOs or, as the film candidly mocks in today's neutered language UAPs or Unexplained Aerial Phenomenon. The film argues, rightly, that recent years have seen the official declassification of absolute proof and certainty that UFOs or UAPs are within our earthly atmosphere and my argument would be why this otherworldly news seemingly came and went in collective public apathy. Was the spectacle not grand enough? Nope could also be argued as a somewhat psychological horror and my immediate after film thoughts centred on its inspiration being a variety of genre twisting films from M. Night Shyamalan's Signs in 2002 or back to 1996 for the apocalyptic film Twister, or especially the 2016 Denis Villeneuve directed Arrival. I'd also argue that the film has a spaghetti western feel to it, and especially so the early film music from Michael Abels, and his use of tension-inducing strings and violins. 
There are constant standoffs and stare downs way before the reveal of our otherworldly viewers, but the anxiety and tension never drains, and like the film's four distinctive screen titled segments of Ghost, Clover, Lucky, and Jean Jacket, this reminded me of Quentin Tarantino and his use of such a device, as well as keeping a brilliant heightened sense of tension and unknowing. There were six minutes and 13 seconds of havoc, apparently. And then there was a gem of a two hour film that followed it. And that was Nope, my favorite film of 2022, directed by Jordan Peele, brought to you by Stephen Blackford, writer and reader of Pointless, but spoiler free, film reviews since 2012. And I leave you as I always do, in peace and in solidarity. And I thank you so much for watching. Take care out there. Peace everyone.